trims and finishing. Select the 90 degree corner post cover and cut out a 4mm deep by 8mm long slot in the top with a fine tooth saw. Push the corner post onto the leg of the post and slide upwards until the front meets the eaves beam. Position an 18mm coupling cover over the barbs on the inside of the post and push to fit. The 18mm coupling covers will need trimming to fit underneath the external eaves beam trim and eaves beam cover. Select the 18mm coupling covers and position onto the recesses of the sides of each quarter turn button on the 18mm inline couplings and push to fit. Repeat for each inline coupling and on the inside. Select the 18mm coupling covers and position over the two part connectors between the side panels and furring. Push fit so that the leg detail on the coupling covers interlock with the detail on the quarter turn button. Repeat on the inside. Select the eaves beam end cap and position over the open end of the eaves beam. Fix with the 25mm screws and use cover caps. Apply the 2mm glazing tape on the outside of the starter bar bottom cap and peel back 100mm of the protective film. Position the hook at the top of the fascia trim over the upright leg on the starter bar ensuring that the inside face of the fascia trim does not make contact with the adhesive tape. Once you're sure the fascia trim is in line with the front face of the starter bar and correctly positioned, remove the protective film and press firmly to create a bond. When the fascia trim is attached, fix the starter end cap to the end of the starter bar using the 25mm screws and insert the screw cover cap. Position the wall plate end cap over the end face of the wall plate, ensuring it's hooked over the fascia trim. Fix with the 25mm screws provided. Position the eaves beam cover onto the barbs of the eaves beam and press to fix. Fit the handles to all opening sashes using the 5x20mm handle screws. Attach the sill end caps at the door using a bead of silicone. Silicone between the sill and dwarf wall.